Hey guys, this is Richard from Pacific Reviews, and today I have one of those unfinished videos for you. Um, it's just a comparison between these four iPhone 4 cases, and they are the Ventex Versa Duo case, which comes with these detachable back pieces, which come in the silver, the red, and the blue, the off this side, the Apple iPhone 4 bumper, the Luxmo just rubber case, and this Luxmo hard matte finish two piece case. Um, so here's my iPhone. Um, it's had a case on it pretty much ever since I first got it. Uh, on the back, it has an invisible shield, and on the front, it has an iFrog's anti glare screen shield. As you can see, the light is kind of fuzzy. If I do it this way, it's a little clearer. It's a dirty phone. So I'm just going to show you. Um, some things about the cases that I like and that I don't like. So, I'm gonna first start with this Luxmo hard matte finish black case. Um, it comes in two pieces. Um, so, a couple things that I like about it is that it looks good. It fits really good to the phone. As you can see, it fits really good. Everything's open. It doesn't jiggle around, and it feels really nice. Um, a couple things I don't like about it is usually it's really really hard to get off I, you're probably gonna be able to see it's gonna take me a little while to get off and another thing is it's it has a pretty thin hard case and for some reason it's really hard to get off but I dropped my phone with this one time by accident and right hit the ground the case just like, flew off into pieces like this it just completely came off the phone and didn't protect the phone nearly as much as it should have so I really didn't like that it popped off like that, and it has no shock absorption because it's hard plastic. Um, I don't think I actually did a video on this case, but um, would I recommend this case? Um, I'd actually probably get another case that's the same price, that's a little bit better. Um, for example, this other Luxmo case, this is the rubber one, which I like this one better. I'm going to do this one right now. I like this case better than the one I just did. It's by the same company, but it's rubbery. As you can tell, it's bendy and rubbery. But it's kind of like a hard rubber. So it's kind of like protection, but it's also shock absorption. It's really easy to get on. You just stick it in and pull the edges up and around. That's how easy to get on. it is to get on. But it's really tight. I don't know if it's just because I have the invisible shield on there and the screen shield protector, but as you can see, it bubbles up. Actually, I don't know if you can't. Yeah, you can kind of see it bubbles up there and down here. But I really do like this case. It feels really nice. It's tight to the phone. The buttons are covered up, but you can still press them. They're a little bit harder to press, and this is still easy to pressable. But it just feels really nice. And also, if you drop it, there, there's shock absorption. It's, it's not like this case. It's not going to hit the ground and explode. It's just going to hit the ground and probably bounce because it's so thick rubber. It's really thick rubber. So I would definitely recommend this case over the other Luxmo case I I already talked about so um, but some people just don't like rubber cases some people do like hard plastic it's really up to you um, the next one I'm gonna do is the Versa Duo case I really I actually really like this case because one it came with three different plate colors but two because I felt protected with this case it's it's almost sort of like the uh, same thing with the hard plastic Luxmo case as in the fact that if you drop it, it's probably not going to absorb too much. It's probably not going to like redirect the energy around the phone. It's probably, the phone's going to take a pretty hard hit. But I would rather drop the phone in this case than the Luxmo case because it, it just seems like it's a little bit sturdier build. It holds together tighter to the phone. And it, it's thicker. As you can see, the phone got pretty thick there. On the back, it looks like this could be red or this could be blue. Um, everything's lined up nicely. The only thing that's kind of weird is these like little niche right here. See my finger stops, and I don't know what that is, but it's really small if you push the pieces together. So I would recommend this case, um, but once again, I do like kind of like rubbery cases. But I'll, I, uh, something I want to get is the Spec Candy Shell because it's mixed with hard plastic and rubber. So once I get that, I'll definitely do videos on that. So I would recommend this case. It it's sturdy 
and um, it really fits tight to the phone. I'll try and get it off here. This one I have a little trouble getting off sometimes too. You have to kind of pull these two off, like around the phone. Sorry about this. There we go. Once you get that second piece off, the first piece comes off easy. Okay. Um, the last one that I have is the Apple iPhone 4 bumper. Now, at first, I thought that this was going to be a terrible case. Like, I, I actually didn't buy it. I got it from the case program. I was thinking, you know, like, it's a terrible case they made. It doesn't even look good. It's look how flimsy it is. Look at this right here. But... I actually really like this case. I don't think I would pay 30 bucks for it. I'd probably pay up to 25 but I actually really do like this case. Probably out of all four of these cases, this one I would say is my favorite. But my second favorite would be the Luxmo rubber. But um, it has individual made buttons. I don't know if you can see it right there. But you press it, they bump down, the buttons work good. Um, it is a little bit tight sometimes with this, the, the vibrate and ringer button. But everything else is lined up perfectly, which you probably expect from something made by the own, their own company. Um, also, when, when, before I got it, I was wondering how you get it on because I thought it was rigid plastic, but it's, it's pretty flexible because it's only plastic in the middle right here and it's rubber on the outside, which means that it has pure um, protection because of the plastic. But it also has shock absorption because of the rubber. It'll kind of send the energy around the phone. So you just pull it on like that. Got to make sure it's on because see, see how it's kind of off right there. To fix that, you just kind of pull it over. Make sure it's on. And that's it. So it doesn't cover the back, which is something that kind of bugs me. So that's why you have this also because this covers the whole back. But it, it gives you a little bit of a lip, so you can put it on the table without worrying getting scratched. But it's pretty much impossible to drop it and hit something that's not the bumper. Because if you drop it like this, it'll hit the bumper. Drop it like this, it'll hit the bumper on the corner. So it is really good protection. All the buttons work great. It's just some people just don't like it because there's no back protection. So it's really up to you which one to decide. But I would definitely recommend these two cases the most. The I have the Apple bumper and the Luxmo iPhone 4 rubber case. It doesn't really have a name. So this was just a quick overview of these four cases. Thank you for watching.